Ooh, Kellum, eat it up. Look at how cute this outfit is. Where is she going? Who is she? What is her name? Can I go too? So cute and adorable. Ink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dolls! Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z, and I love to do tons of lifestyle girly pink and fragrance related content. So if that's something you're into, please do consider subscribing and becoming a dollette. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the bell notification so you don't miss any of my video uploads. All of my social media will be linked in the description box below. So now that you dollies know everything you need to know, let's go ahead and hop into the video. In today's video, we are going to be styling six Valentine's Day date outfits. So I picked out three casual looks and three three dressy looks for you dolls and I cannot wait to show you how I put all of the pieces together and please be sure to stay to the end of this video because I will be announcing the Valentine's Day giveaway winner okay dolls so we are going to start pulling some outfits I decided to start out with the casual outfits first and then we'll go into the more nighttime type of look the color palettes that I was working with today are mainly pink so all different types of pinks we have hot pinks white pinks mauvey pinks and then I also have white and then lavender. The color that we are just not vibing with for Valentine's Day at all is red. So if you guys are into red, just try and think of ways to substitute the pink for red instead. And I think that that'll work out really well. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull our first look. Okay, so here is the first casual look. Now I got these pants from the thrift store, but they are by Shein. So if you guys are looking for them, check Shein's website. I know mama, we're gonna do the video and then we'll let you go outside. So check Shein you guys, if you are looking for these pair of pants. And then I also have this cute little ribbed top that I actually picked up from a fashion cues in my mall. So I'm gonna pair these two together. You can easily find any type of pink tank top or like I said, if you're more of the red kind of girl, you can pick up a red tank top as well to just pair with some cute jeans. So let's go ahead and try these on. Okay dolls, so here is the outfit. Now I just wanna kind of accessorize a little bit and I'm thinking for jewelry, I definitely wanna go with a necklace and I think I'm gonna probably wear this heart necklace with all of my outfits or the majority just because it is so cute in Valentine's Day. It should be turned the diamond way. Okay, so here's the necklace. Anytime I wear like a super low or V-cut top or dress, I always try to cover up my degligé by adding some type of statement piece. And I think this necklace is so perfect and cute for Valentine's Day. I don't know if I'm gonna wear any earrings. I feel like it might be a little bit overkill, but I'm gonna go ahead and try out some hoop earrings. Okay, you guys, so I found these rose gold studded hoops, and I think these are gonna be perfect to just tie in all of the jewelry together now this look was definitely inspired by like more of like a juicy couture themed so i am going to show you guys the rest of the look next i picked out these pair of juicy couture gym shoes and i'm going to style these with it you could also dress this outfit up by adding heels or some type of booty on the foot but i just wanted to add these shoes because i'm also going to be using this juicy couture like duffel bag i forget what you call this you guys comment below if you know the style of this bag i believe it's called like a bowling bag maybe not um, but I love this cute purse it has juicy rhinestone all over the front of it and the shoes also have juicy on them and is rhinestone as well so I feel like these will work perfectly pulling the outfit together I'm also going to be doing a TikTok, you guys while I'm doing this so if you see me like stop for a second that's what I'm doing okay you guys so here is the finished look i would probably hold my bag like this but yeah you guys this is the finished look super cute and casual i feel like this is the perfect like let's go on a walk or let's go to the movies date or some type of daytime date 
um, would be really super cute also for a Galentine's if you're meeting the girls for a cute little brunch or something like that and you don't want to do too much you just want to keep it very very casual I feel like this is the perfect look for that Okay dolls, so I also found these heart-shaped sunglasses in my closet, so I'm just gonna add those because I think, yes ma'am, yes, see that really did complete the look. I feel like now I'm ready to go somewhere. Also, if you live in a cold climate, you can also add like a cute jacket or some type of sweater or another piece on top of your shoulders just to keep you warm. I live in California, so it's not really a that big of a deal. I would probably walk out of the house like this. Super cute. I'm obsessed with this outfit. I think it's really, really cute. It's stylish and it says Valentine's Day, but not in like a crazy, obsessive, hearts everywhere type of vibe. In a very subtle way, you have the hearts on the pants, the heart shaped in the glasses, and then everything's pinked out. You guys already know how I do. So so yeah, I really like this outfit. Go ahead and rate below you guys. Also in the comments, which outfits you like the best. Rate them from one to six or six to one, whatever. I feel like this is definitely one of my top outfits. I feel like this is something I would just wear in a every day, not even on Valentine's Day. Okay, let's get changed into the next outfit. Okay dolls, so the next outfit that I chose is this little cute pink and like a cream colored set. I got this top from Ashley Fashion Nova. It's so freaking cute. And then I also got these pants from the thrift store. I believe they're by Shein. Yeah, they're Shein. And it's just like this electric bubblegummy pink pant. So perfect and on brand for Valentine's Day. And then I'm also pairing this on top of it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get changed into this and then we'll pick out our accessories and style the look. Okay dolls, so here is the next look. And I'm thinking for this look, I wanna add this purse. It's so super cute. I got this from Dolls Kill, but it is originally by Sugar Thrills. It is a heart-shaped beaded purse. I love this thing. It has a long shoulder strap, which is how I love to wear it, but it also has like a wrist strap as well. So if you guys wanted to do it that way, you could as well. I know that Marshalls and TJ Maxx right now have bags like these. So if you guys want to get one like for an affordable price, I would suggest going to those stores instead of going to um, Dolls Kill because Dolls Kill is kind of expensive. Now I want to pick out a shoe. Okay, so here are the shoes that I want to try out dolls. I think these would just look really super cute with the outfit. It's kind of a casual but dressy type of outfit. So I would definitely wear this on like a brunch date for sure. I don't know that I would like let's go for a walk or let's go to the park in this. No, this is definitely a, I need to sit down, have brunch type of cute little like dressy but not too dressy outfit. Also something I feel like you could wear to the movies. It might be a little bit dressy with the heels, but some girls do wear heels to the movies. <laughs> so I thought that this would be really, really cute. The color of the pink matches my pants almost perfectly. And I love the gold little detail on the shoe. I just think that would be cute. So I'm gonna add those. Sorry, you guys may see my bra straps in the back. Now we just need to add some accessories. I love the necklace. Like I said, I feel like this necklace could probably match every single outfit I have. So I would probably keep this necklace or I would probably go without a necklace at all. Let's choose some earrings. Okay, so since we aren't wearing any red in the outfit, I thought this cute pop of red would be nice and pretty for Valentine's Day, especially since we're not doing any red outfits. These are just some cute little cherry earrings. I feel like they totally match the vibe. Let me go ahead and try these on. Okay, so I have the cherry earrings on. I think they look so cute. I do feel like the necklace and the earrings together are just a little too much for me. I'm one of those people that can only wear either or unless it's like a matching set. If it's a matching set, then I can wear both. So I'm gonna take the necklace off. Yeah, I just feel like this is a much cleaner look in my opinion. So yeah, dolls, I love it. I think it looks absolutely adorable. Love the little cute bag. The shoes are so cute. What do you guys think? 
let me know in the comments below okay dolls so here is my third casual look it's just this cute silk tank top that i got i believe i got this from aliexpress a few years back it does have like heart diamond pendants right here in the middle and then also on the straps which i think perfect and on brand for valentine's day and then i paired it with these white skinny leg jeans that i got from Abercrombie. Actually, I didn't get these from Abercrombie. I got these from Goodwill, but they are by Abercrombie. I would never buy anything from that store. But yeah, I believe these are just their skinny leg fit. If that might be the name of it, but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, super cute. I think this is just a cute outfit again. Something I feel like you could dress up or dress down. You could definitely wear this out for brunch, but also if you had like a date night like a movie date night you could go out for that i also feel like it's something you could wear to the bar if you wanted to go get drinks with the girls for galentine's day this is just absolutely perfect so for accessories i want to add a jacket because i feel like for me i would probably wear this out to like let's go get drinks at the bar so i'm gonna pair it with this jacket right here that is i think i got this from Hmm. I think I got this from either Fashion Cues or I got it from Fashion Nova. Not entirely sure. I cannot remember. I want to say I got this from Fashion Cues though. The back has all of these a rhinestone fringe and I absolutely love that. Love the distressing with the ripped hole in the back and on the front of the jacket. It's just really cool and cute. And again, we're trying to go with more of a like bar night out to get drinks with the girls or if you have a date at the bar, this would be perfect for that so this is how I would actually style this jacket I don't know that I would actually stick my hands and wear the jacket just because like I said I'm in California but if you live in a much cooler climate you might actually want to go ahead and just you know put your arms in it and style it like that any cute denim jacket will do I just really love this one because of that blingy fringe in the back giving a little extra you could also wear it like this i also wear this jacket a lot like this i just like button it here at the bottom and then walk around like this super super cute and perfect now let's go ahead and pick out some shoes and also a bag okay guys so i picked out this bag from dolls kill this is also by the brand sugar thrills super cute they do have this in like a blue color and i think they might have it right now in red i'm not entirely sure you guys can check dolls kills website i would if you can order it from sugar thrills order it from sugar thrills because I'm sure it'll be cheaper than getting it from Dolls Kill, but it's super cute. It has all of these lace detail on it, really giving like a corset type look. And the pink matches the pink in my top perfectly. Loving adding all of these different textures together. I have the jean texture and then this silky texture from the top and then also this like lace texture in my bag. So just mix matching of those textures while also making it cohesive with the same color scheme. Super cute, super adorable, love this now what type of shoes are we gonna wear girl this is gonna be the hard part these shoes I have these pink booties that I think would be cute with the outfit especially for me if I'm going out to a bar I definitely like to wear booties because they say you're dressy and you're going out but it doesn't say like super super overly dressed so I feel like booties would be perfect for this but I could also go with more of like a shoe like this that would be super cute as well. So I'm just going to try the sandal. Oh yeah, the sandal, the little sandal shoe actually works really, really well with the outfit. I think it looks really, really cute. Um, I want to pan you guys down so you can see the shoe with the whole outfit. I think it looks super cute. I think it definitely does match very well. I'm going to add try on the booty as well because I just want to make sure that I'm getting the perfect look that I want. I also have some black booties, but I just wanna keep the color going because I love the color in these outfits. Okay, so you guys, here are the booties. I also like the booties as well. Like I said, it's up to you guys what your vibe is. I would probably wear booties with this outfit just because like I said, I do intend on going out at night into a bar and you just never know what's on the ground if those places are really, really dirty. 
So I do feel like that would work really well. So now let's go ahead and try on some jewelry. I don't think I'm gonna go with a necklace. Typically I would because so much of my chest is out, but I did decide to wear these little cherub earrings. Are they cherub or cherub? I, I'm pretty sure they're cherub is how they're pronounced. But these little cute angel baby earrings, I thought this was perfect for the look. So I don't wanna put too much on, so I don't wanna have the necklace and these really big earrings. Okay dolls, so those are the earrings. I think they look really, really cute. Definitely on brand, giving me Cupid vibes, which I absolutely love. So here's the full outfit, super cute. Oh, I love this. I definitely feel like this is something I would absolutely wear on Valentine's Day or if I had a date at the bar. Definitely my outfit for that. So love this, think it's cute. Let's go ahead and get into the first dressy look. You know what, actually guys, I think I probably would pair it with some sunglasses if I was going to go out in the daytime in this look. Definitely would add these like pink sunnies with it. And they just absolutely complete a Valentine's Day outfit. That's another tip for you guys. If you don't have like Valentine's Day themed clothes, pick an outfit out and then choose Valentine's accessories, heart-shaped glasses, heart-shaped bags, shoes that have maybe heart shapes on them or maybe are in the same Valentine's Day color scheme, if that makes sense. So yeah, love this. Lights take me from low to highs, what you hear every day. So this is look number one for our dressy options. Wearing this all white backless baby, backless dress. Definitely a bodycon. It comes kind of midi. Well, it comes above the knee. Very much sculpting the body. So, you know, you better make sure you're right and tight. The dress I believe I got from Ross, if I'm not mistaken. If it's not Ross, it's the thrift store. I can't remember. The jacket is definitely from the thrift store. I got this from Goodwill, but it is by Fashion Nova if you guys are looking for it. Super cute neon. I love the color pattern on this. So very pretty and matchy matchy with the white dress. I just felt like because the fur is so extra, I didn't want to wear like a pink dress with this or a black dress because I just felt like it would have been too much. I felt like having something plain like a white dress, very, very clean with this statement piece was just the perfect combination. Now with this outfit, I want to style a bag and you dolls already know I'm going for my hot pink juicy bag. Honestly, you guys, I would probably style this off the shoulder. I would not wear this completely over unless it was freezing outside, but I'm gonna pair it with my juicy bag. This is my hot pink one. I just got this. You guys saw this in my juicy haul. I think she's so cute. She isn't exactly the color of the pink on my jacket, but I feel like she's close enough that she will match and not stand out too badly, and it's really, really cute. Love this look. I hate these straps. I wish I could take them off, but that's okay. I'll probably just hold it like this. Super cute. And then for shoes, you guys, I actually don't really know what type of shoes to wear. I have like these nude shoes with a rhinestone heel. I honestly feel like it would be just too much with this outfit to wear that. I mean, totally could, but I kind of feel like it is a lot going on in the outfit. Also, I'm feeling like, hate to come back to it, but these shoes are kind of low-key, high-key perfect for the outfit. Just a cute little kitten heel to slip on. I also have some black juicy heels, so that might be cute as well. I just have to see, because it might be too much. There are the black kitten heels, you guys, that could work. I just don't like, I don't know. I just feel like they are not the vibe. It's not matchy-matchy enough for me. I love matchy-matchy outfits. I don't know. So any one of those heels would work. I would probably personally want to have a white heel, maybe a lace up heel that will go up my leg or maybe some type of nude heel. I just feel like I don't have the right shoes for this outfit. I definitely would love some like strappy sandal heels. But nonetheless, this is the look, you guys. Super cute. I do want to add some jewelry because I just feel a little bit bare here and here in my face area. So I have some jewelry here. I think 
I have these earrings that I've been wanting to wear with an outfit and I actually haven't been able to find the perfect outfit so this might be the one. It's these hot pink at me earrings. You guys, I think those are so cute with this outfit. This is definitely a standout statement outfit. Like if I was going to a concert or to dinner, I would probably wear this. This is, or a party is what I would wear this to. I do have these Juicy Couture heart earrings, but I just feel like they're not giving enough for me. And then I was also thinking about these little heart earrings that I have. They're like bedazzled heart earrings. I feel like these might be a vibe. Ooh, 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 these might be it, you guys. Oh my God. So I'll let you guys uh, vote down below which earrings I should actually wear with this outfit. These heart-shaped bedazzled ones, which is just making it so much more elegant. I feel like it just elevates the outfit. Okay, so because the jacket is already a statement piece for Valentine's Day, I'm going to not wear the Etme earrings for this look. I just feel like it's a lot, and I probably would wear those earrings with this jacket on like a different occasion, but just because it's Valentine's Day, and for me, this look is kind of like a dinner look, I'm gonna go with the heart bling earrings, and I think that this is perfect. Yeah. It's super cute, I like it a lot. Really, really pretty, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is probably gonna be one of my favorite dressy looks for sure. I feel like this look is definitely an upscale like party type look or a dinner date type look and I really like it. I feel like this is something I would definitely wear for Valentine's Day date night um, or party, Galentine's party, but like dressy Galentine's party, like if it was like a office party or something like that or an event party or a brand party. Super perfect. I just don't know about the shoes, you guys, as I said before, different shoes, but you guys get the idea. Let's go ahead and try on dressy outfit number two. Okay dolls, so here is my second going out like formal nighttime dressy look for Valentine's Day. I think I lied about the last look. I think this is probably my favorite look. You guys ignore my body if it's like ashy. I have extremely dry skin. I have been putting cocoa butter and shea butter on it, but it's just been dry. I don't know. But yeah, I think this is my favorite look. This is a top and skirt combo. So keep in mind, you guys, you don't have to wear like a full dress to be dressy. You can pair two pieces together and make it dressy. You can also wear formal dress pants with this top like this. And I feel like it would just really very much elevate the look, make it a little bit more, I would say a little bit more businessy and less like going out. This is definitely a Valentine's Day date. I am definitely trying to dress to impress here. Um, you could wear this to a Galentine's party with girls if depending on where you guys are going. If you guys are going to a very dressy upscale party, then this would work. But I would personally use this to go out on a date. And this top is just a spaghetti strap slinky top that I got from the thrift store. I also got the skirt from the thrift store as well. The top is by Shein and the skirt is by a brand that I absolutely have never heard of before you guys and I'm not even going to embarrass myself by trying to pronounce the name because I'm just not. I paired these two together because the materials were very very close. The top is more like a satin and the skirt is more like a silk material but they look like a one piece when they're put together. The colors are slightly different but you really can't tell honestly and they're close enough to wear love the split here definitely giving me a little bit of sex appeal this is a mini skirt you guys I would consider this a mini skirt I pulled it up to wear it high-waisted I also tucked my top inside of the skirt to just make it look a little bit more formal and then pulled it out a little bit to make it baggy here and I think it looks really really cute now the type of bag that I would sell with this outfit has to be very elegant and upscale because I feel like that's the theme of the outfit. That's the vibe that we're going for. So the bag that I'm going to choose is this bag. I can't even remember where I got this. Oh, I think I got this from TJ Maxx, you guys. Um, they have tons of bags like this. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, 
and Burlington have tons of cute little like going out bags and formal bags. I got this one and it has all of this fringe all over it which I just think is so cute. Giving me like Gatsby model vibes, like Gatsby day vibes, Gatsby princess vibes. Love that, love the gold hardware on it, just really pretty and of course this chain. I would definitely wear this as like a shoulder bag for sure. It oh my god i'm in love with this outfit okay next are the shoes and i definitely wanted something that could match with the texture of the bag because i have all of this satin silk going on then i have this beautiful fringy type of feathery texture so i wanted something to go along with that here are the shoes that i decided to go with as you guys can see it has like this boa fur or not fur but feather uh effect and embellishment on the top of it and i just feel like this was absolutely perfect to pair with the texture of the bag of course these pinks are like spot on perfect they match each other perfectly a little bit lighter than the rest of my outfit which is perfect because it will give some contrast so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And then for jewelry, I just wanted to go with clean, beautiful, elegant, upscale earrings. I do have these. I don't feel like they are elegant. I feel like they're elegant. I just don't feel like they're upscale. I feel like they might be giving a little bit childish, but I'm not entirely sure. I feel like I love them because they're shaped like a heart with a pink bow, like perfect for Valentine's Day. Again, trying to pull in some more of the Valentine's Day theme into the outfit. Definitely trying to say, hey, it's Valentine's Day. I actually don't hate this. I actually don't hate it. I don't hate it. I mean, I personally would probably wear more of like a dangly sparkly earring but right now for the sake of valentine's day i feel like this is cute for valentine's day Ooh, kill him kill him eat it up she is so cute okay i feel like this is my favorite outfit love this you guys look at how cute this outfit is where is she going who is she what is her name can i go too so cute and adorable love this you guys let me know down in the comments below i'm really curious to know like which one of these outfits were you guys favorite which one would you wear um also if you guys want to give me any advice on how like oh i would have put this earring with that outfit or switch the shoes around a bit you can definitely let me know in the comments below i love you guys advice but i feel like oh yes i feel like this is definitely an outfit that i would wear on a date like this year, like if I got asked out on a Valentine's Day a date, like dinner date, perfect look, love it. Okay, you guys, this is the last dressy Valentine's Day look. This is a purple, as you guys can see, a lavender dress. This is a maxi dress. It goes all the way down to my ankles. It does have a split. I got this from Ross, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I got this from Ross. Super, super cute. The back is completely, look at that. Look at that shape. It is tucking and snugging, okay? I love the cut and the detail here at the tummy, showing a little bit. I know some of you guys, like I said, may live in colder climates. Perfect opportunity for you guys to pair a jacket with that. I personally would probably go with some type of fur, but I do have this like white cream Sherpa jacket i love this color with the lavender purple the only thing is i feel like this isn't the type of jacket i would pair with this dress just because the dress is so much more dressier i would definitely want to go with like a cream or white fur if i could okay so for bags you guys i was thinking to just go with this plain white bag that i have i got this from shein a long time ago it's just a plain mini white bag Obviously, I feel like this outfit would be the perfect opportunity to add pops of red. I honestly don't mind red with purple. I just don't like red with pink. I just think like, why are we doing that? <laughs> why are we doing that? So a pop of red would have been cute if I had like maybe a red heart shaped bag. That would be cute to go with this outfit or even a black heart shaped bag would be cute to go with it. But that is okay. We're going to work with this little white mini bag, which I also feel is kind of perfect as well. Also, I was thinking of doing this pink bag because I feel like this hot pink bag also works really well with the outfit for Valentine's Day. I feel like you're giving very much 
conversational heart very much <laughs> okay super cute oh by the way you guys i have splits on both sides of this dress i don't know you guys comment below which bag would you style with this outfit i honestly like the style of this bag but i just wish it was a different color i wish it was either red or hot pink so we might just go with this one for shoes you guys i think that i would probably wear strappy sandal heels with this but as you guys heard me say earlier i don't have anything like that so i'm looking at my shoes right now and i'm thinking that i could try these black juicy heels i just feel like these black juicy heels are particular to a certain outfit that i have in mind and they just don't really work with a lot of my outfits um i think what i'm gonna go with honestly are these nude sandals i think they're super cute they do have a little bit of bling on the back of them but that's all right girl so i think i'm gonna go with the black heels you guys on this one and if we don't like it we can always change out our outfit but like i said keep in mind you guys i would probably go with a strappy a sandal heel just so that i could match like the straps up here because that's just a super cute detail that you don't want to ignore okay so for earrings and jewelry i was really thinking these heart-shaped earrings i know that they're a bit much but i just absolutely love these i got these from aliexpress by the way oh and my juicy sandals are from oh jc Penney's. but i got these heart earrings from aliexpress super cute for valentine's day and i think this is just the perfect opportunity to wear these with this outfit because like i said none of my outfits are red and i did want to add i don't like red that's just me but i did want to add some pops of red to the mix just to give you guys that valentine's day look that valentine's day feel and i think these are perfect if I can get them on. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I know I said I want to go with a necklace because I felt like the dress was a little lackluster, but I actually feel like now that I looked at it all together that the necklace was really taken away from the dress. So I did went ahead and took that off and just am going with these cute red earrings instead of the heart pink ones. I feel like that matches the color scheme a little bit better. So here's the look, you guys. Okay, dolls, that was my final look. I'll see you guys for the giveaway. Okay, dollies, the moment you all have been waiting for. It is the giveaway announcement, you guys. So, gonna run the random draw on my phone right now. Okay. It's running. So the giveaway winner is Charlotte Charlton, I think is your name. Charlotte Charlton. Girl, congratulations to you. I am so excited that you won this gift. Okay, girly, all you have to do now is screenshot a photo of you following me on TikTok and Instagram, DM me on my backup Instagram account, and DM me those photos, and also send me your shipping address to where I can ship out the gift. And that is it. You will have up to three days to respond to this. I will try and reach out to you via Instagram and see if I can DM you there. Please do respond back as quickly as you can because if I'm not able to get in touch with you, I will have to select another giveaway winner. I hope you love the Valentine's Day gift. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. I really do appreciate it. I love you, girl. I see you. I saw all of you. Thank you, dolls, so, so much. I will be having more giveaways coming here soon so do stay tuned if you did not win this time you may be the next winner anyways dolls that concludes my video i hope you dolls enjoyed don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye bye dolls <laughs>